Oh my gosh. New channel layout for YouTube. Now my channel is completely destroyed. Alright, well today we're going to talk about how to update your channel artwork, channel graphics, and I'm going to show you how to do it for free. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, and it's fairly simple, but we have to get a few pieces first, so let me show you what we need. Uh, first off, we need a template for the new channel layout, and YouTube was nice enough to offer that for us and if you go to youtube.com forward slash one channel o-n-e-c-h-a-n-n-e-l one channel youtube.com forward slash one channel it'll take you to a page that talks about the new channel layout anyway they also provide a place to get specifications for making channel art so what you do is you click that link boom and it will talk about the channel art guidelines and this image right here shows you exactly where to put text and images so it will display on your new channel layout. And if you don't if if you don't have it yet, you are going to get it cuz YouTube is going to change this. So there's a link right here that says channel art specs. I want you to click on that and what it's going to do is it's going to download a template. I already have this template, so I am going to go to the next step. Now what we need to do is we need to use an image editor like Photoshop, but if you don't have Photoshop, then that's not free for you. So I like to use Pixlr in place of Photoshop. So go to pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com, once you've downloaded the template, and we're going to open the Pixlr Editor Advanced. All right, I've talked about this in another one of my um, tutorials before. Uh, I think it was on the CD labels, uh, so I use this often, and it's very handy as, as long as you have an internet connection. So once I chose the editor, uh, it's going to give me some choices such as create a new image, open image from computer, open image from URL, open image from library, and use Pixlr on a mobile device. I want to open the image from the, my computer because I have it downloaded, and of course I'm going to have to find it, but I know what it's called. It's called Channel Art Spec and it's a PNG file and I'm going to open that and bing it's opened up now the weird thing is that um, the image that you download it actually is larger <laughs> it had, the template has these areas outside of it that are white areas so um, be aware of that when you first open this up so this whole entire image is a little bit larger than the size we need. The size we need, it tells you right here, 2120 by 1192. Well, that's all the yellow area. So what I like to do is I like to grab my little crop tool right here in the tools. It's this one all the way at the top left crop tool. So it's also C on your computer. And I like to crop just the yellow area here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click and drag crop this get as close as I possibly can then I, I just click any you click anywhere and it asks you do you want to apply the changes you say yes and now my image it actually tells me in the bottom here 2120 by 1194 so it's supposed to be 2120 by 1192 I'm very close I'm two pixels off height wise so that's fine I can live with that so now you can see that we have these lines here. We have TV dimensions, which is the whole entire image. Then we have desktop max, which would be on a desktop computer. Um, then we have tablet, which is like this pinkish purple area, which is smaller. And desktop uh, mini, mini, miniature, and mobile. Um, and that is right in here, and that's 1280 by 350. So what I like to do is I like to be safe and I like to keep it within I like to keep it within the tablet area but anything that's very important I keep within the 1280 by 350 because that is what's going to show up if you're on a computer at your house on YouTube. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that text is visible. Also if the text fits in here every device that even has a bigger screen will still show the text in this area inside here. So. Um, that's why I do that. Now if you look at your layers, I just brought my layers over. Here's our background layer. It's locked. I can unlock it by double-clicking the lock if I want to do something with this, which I will in a second, but 
what right now I want to add another layer and that's this little paper looking icon next to the trash can and I have a new layer it's selected and what I want to do is I'm going to create a gradient because this image is just a template still remember that um, so we're gonna start to apply things over top of it and then when we're done we're gonna remove the template and that will be our graphic so what I'm going to do is I want to throw a little gradient, and that is this tool right here that looks like uh, that's underneath the eraser. And I click the gradient tool, and here's my gradient up here. It's black and white. Um, I don't really like black and white, so I click the black and white bar, and there is a bluish gradient here that I like, uh, so I chose that one. Also, you can go in here and change the colors if you want, but I like this blue gradient, so I'm going to go with it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag in the screen, in the screen here and get a nice blue gradient. Now the gradient is over top of my image so I can't see it. If I want to see for right now I can click this little layer settings button and I can change the opacity. So I know that my blue gradient is there and I'm going to change the opacity back to 100 yeah, percent before I finish but right for right now I still need to see these yellow these lines. Okay, so what I would do now is I would add whatever I want in my uh, channel, and so that's going to be some text here. So I'm going to pick the text tool, that little A. I'm going to click and I'm going to add some text. Uh, coolest, if I can spell, coolest YouTube channel in the world. Coolest YouTube channel in the world. I'm going to change the size. I'm going to change the color. And how am I doing that? I changed the size down here where it says size, and I just clicked the in, and dragged. The color right here is this little color square. You can change the font size, and you can also change the style. If I want to make it bold, I'll make it bold. So there, there it is. I clicked OK. I'm going to click my Move tool. It's the arrow, the upper right-hand side of the tools. And oh, it's a little too big, so I definitely want to change that. So I'm going to go back to my text and I'm going to select this and then I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. That's fine. And then I will move it into place with my move tool. That's pretty good. And another thing is once I make this graphic, I'm going to I can save this. I can test it out in YouTube and if I need to make, go back and make little changes, that's fine. So sometimes it does require you to make a graphic, upload it really quick. Uh, and then you know test it and see how it looks uh, and then make some changes so here we go coolest YouTube channel in the world I would put other things like uh, I would put maybe more text like a subtitle like uh, you know um, awesome videos on uh, salami awesome videos on salami so that's my channel is all about salami has the coolest is the coolest YouTube channel in the world I can put images in here such as graphics um, I can add some more color if I wanted I can add more uh, arrows to say hey subscribe also in the on the left hand side there's going to be um, an avatar image too so you need to kind of um, allow for that too so let's just pretend that this is uh, completely finished and done and uh, I'm happy with what I have I gotta go back to my layers here and I'm going to go back to let me make this a little bit bigger here I'm gonna go back to my layer I'm gonna make the opacity all the way back up and then I'm going to save this image by going to file save I'm gonna make it a JPEG a PNG is fine but I want to make it a JPEG and this is my computer I'm gonna click OK it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'll save it to the most crowded place on my computer, the desktop. And right now it's being saved to my computer. So what's the next step? Well, the next step would be to upload it to our channel. Okay, so now I'm logged into YouTube. And um, if, you, if you don't have the one channel layout, let me just show you. Uh, where you would need to go. You would need to go to youtube.com again forward slash one channel youtube.com forward slash one channel then you need to scroll down to the bottom you need to be logged in and this button right here I'm already using it so it says you're already using the new channels design but if you it will say if you want to use the new channel design click here so you're gonna click a blue button here and it's gonna take you to your new YouTube channel page 
and right here, here you'll see it says add channel art so I'm gonna click add channel art and I, it'll take me to an upload photos I'm gonna select photos from my computer I'm gonna go to my desktop and I'm going to find my channel art and click upload and it's gonna upload and the progress bar is going to go through. Your channel art is going to look a bit different across devices. Here's an example. So here's the desktop, here's the actual TV, and here's mobile. So it fits in all of those. So I'm going to click, click select, and it's saving. And in a minute here, it should be updated. Whoa, look at that. Okay, cool. So here's my text, coolest YouTube channel in the world, awesome videos on Salami. When I hold my mouse over this, when I'm logged in, there will be a little edit area here. Um, and then there's also the image avatar area here. So if I wanted to do a channel icon, I could. I can choose a still, which is pretty neat. Maybe I'll choose a still. And, um, and then I will click save. I can upload an image if I want. And there we go, boom. And then we can also edit links if we want, such as links to um, other channels, okay? And so there we go. That's uh, that is how you would do that. There it is, right there. Boom. And uh, and remember, let's take a look at Pixlr again. Here it is. Here it is in our. See how tight it was. Coolest YouTube channel in the world it was tight in the desktop, the mini, but the tablet gave us some space. And actually, we had a little bit extra space because of desktop max. But you have to allow for this too. Okay, so there you go. That's how you would uh, create a new graphic for your one channel or for your YouTube one channel layout uh, completely free. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.